Hello reformers and welcome back to the last days. I'm feeling a little bit better today, so uh, hopefully <laughs> hopefully I'm not going to have difficulties recording this episode. Anyway, as you can see right here, we've got our huge warg, Jeff. Jeff, how you doing? Oh, he's doing fine. Did you see that? He opened his mouth and he was like, yes, give me food, please. And uh, I will be. I will be. Don't worry. We're going to be fighting and finding man flesh very soon. Anyway, I have a task. Yes, amazingly enough, the previous episode was extremely stark and deserted in the amounts of tasks that we were able to gain. And thankfully, we now have one to eliminate a fugitive by the name of Margolg the Coward. You fit his description. All right. Let's do this. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna allow him to attack me first, just so that it's a uh, you know classic Mortal Kombat kind of thing. You know, we're making sure that it's one on one, fair and square. Even though technically we're not really supposed to play fair and square, are we? Anyway, that is absolutely fine. We're gonna be heading onward and making our way over to the Orc Patrol Camp because I actually have another quest to go over there. So yes, I I did acquire a couple of things. One is from Baruthiel. I actually had no idea that this guy was actually on the Mordor faction itself. You can see here. It is, uh, well, technically it's, it's, it's her, but, you know. Anyway, point is, she gave me this quest to kill 69 Gondor troops. That's going to be, I, I think that's going to be kind of easy, but it's personal. I have to kill them personally. It cannot be killed by my troops. So that might be a bit of an issue. There's Baruthiel right there. And uh, yeah, I actually made my way all the way over to Moran and over there. And that was the place where I met the mouth of Sauron. And uh, he gave me the task to kill Margolg or whatever whatever his name was. Anyway, uh, ooh, there's actually some rangers from Gondor here. This, this could be pretty... Oh, no. Uh, oh, yeah. That actually is kind of bad, isn't it? I was thinking to myself, yes, we're going to get there and we're going to be in, in in time to, you know, get a couple of kills and stuff. But no, it seems like we are probably going to not get anywhere here because, well, let's face it, the uh, 169 war party or whatever it was just came in here and is now going to be dealing massive amounts of damage and I'm not going to be able to get any kills. Or maybe I will be able to. It really depends. Yeah, there's a kill. There's a kill. Okay, can I get a couple more, please? Can I get a couple more? I don't know whether knocking them unconscious counts. Does knocking them unconscious count? I don't think it does. It probably won't. Let's face it. Oh yeah, by the way, I did get another trait. And that trait is butcher. Basically, uh, I assume you need to butcher a certain, well, not butcher, but you need to kill a couple of prisoners. I would assume you probably have to kill 50. I think I may have killed 50 prisoners by now in the review prisoners screen. And basically what that does is it gives me more meat, or shall we say more man flesh, every single time we uh, go into the party uh, prisoner menu thing. And we also get more when we are looting it. So that's pretty good. That, that is actually pretty good. A, a nice way of gaining a little bit of food there. And, uh, oh yeah, look at that. More metal scraps. Oh yeah, by the way, I've organized my inventory. I, I know a lot of you are going to be very, very happy with that. And it's actually kind of making a, a nice difference here. Because obviously, we've got food here. We've got metal scraps, which I can of course sell. And uh, it just seems to make a little bit more sense. Anyway... I'm going to be making my way still over to the Orc Patrol camp, and uh, hopefully the supply train will not be attacked. Actually, where is the supply train? Are they actually behind me? Oh, there they are. Wow, they're taking a long time. All right, so we've entered the Leader's Cave in Moranon, and uh, I actually thought you might want to see the Mouth of Sauron, if he's actually still here. Yes, he is. There we go. Of course he is. He's going to be talking all the time, isn't he? Because he's the mouth. He's also going to be eating a whole bunch. Anyway... Yes, about the task you gave me. I found Margolg hiding in Minas Morgul. Yeah, let me just say that it actually took me like 10 minutes to find this guy because Minas Morgul is so huge. It's just absolutely crazy how how how, how grand the scope is, basically, in, in, that, in that town. Anyway, there we go. And we'll all be a lot better off without him. There we go. 52 rank points. We are now promoted to familiar to Mordor. That sounds pretty good to me. And uh, do you have any other tasks? 
Our scouts have noticed a recent increase in enemy activity. Unfortunately, they almost never succeed in capturing live prisoners. So I need a warrior... Oh, good warrior to find me seven enemy prisoners. I have those. Funny you should mention it, Mouth of Sauron. I actually do have a couple. So, uh, yes, I have brought you eleven in case seven are not enough. I'm actually just going to give him seven because I don't think it gives you that much more in terms of rank points, but maybe we should just go full out. Hmm. Yeah, let, okay. Let's just go full out and give him 11. It's only four more, after all. There we go, 44 rank points. We have now been promoted to Servant of Mordor. That sounds good to me. And do you have any? Uh, do, you, do you have anything else? Uh, I was expecting my soldiers... Oh, train some troops. Yes, okay. We're actually starting to get somewhere with Mordor now. This is nice. This is very nice indeed. I suggest another method. I'll take four fresh recruits to the arena. I think that's probably going to be much easier for me than uh, taking them out into actual combat. And uh, I'd actually, you know what? I'd actually like to get a couple more combat traits. I actually don't know whether traits are combat specific or whether they can actually be acquired. I would assume that you probably have some kind of combat trait somewhere. And, uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to... Um, hopefully acquire one or, you know, some something like that in the near future because I feel like getting something like, uh, I don't know, ign ignore pain or something like that, something that can reduce the damage that I take would be pretty good, but I don't know whether there's anything like that. Anyway, I've trained four of them. There's 80 rank points. We are now a useful tool. Ah, so we're a wrench or a spanner or something along those lines. Do you have any other tasks? Are you sure? Ah, there we go. He does. I want you to get close to Oldberg and find out as much as you can. Oh, interesting. Scout enemy town. All right, well, let's go into the Moranan chief there. I think he might have something else. Yes, okay, so escort a supply train to the Urukai River camp. Uh, mm, I'm not a big fan about doing this. The river camp is over there, and I need to go to... Oh, I need to go to Oldberg, which is right there. That's actually a Rohan town. I thought it was Gondor one for a second there, but yes. Anyway, uh, it seems like in the comments, a couple of people have told me to go into the burial mounds of enemies and burn them, because there is actually something that I can get for that. I think there's a useful trait or something along those lines, so it might make sense for me to do it. Anyway, let's go to the uh, Urukai river camp and uh, then Oldberg, I guess. Well, there's the success in scouting the enemy town. That was pretty easy, I gotta say. And uh, I actually don't exactly know how much we're gonna get for that. I know that I've done that quest before, but it's been a while. Oh, hello. There seems to be another... Oh, never mind. He's actually ignoring me. Yeah, he's completely ignoring me because he's accompanying King Theoden in wherever he needs to go. All right, well, that's perfectly fine with me. Are you really wanting to fight? Are you serious? Yeah, that's what I thought. He's getting out of there as quickly as he can. He really does not want to fight us right now, does he? No, not at all. All right. So, a messenger arrived uh, reporting that West Emnet has been besieged by Ugluck of Isengard. And that is all the way... Yeah, all the way over there. I don't really want to spend my time over there when I only have a couple left to kill for the Gondor troops quest. Now, bear in mind, I actually thought that she said personally in her initial assessment when, you know, she gave me the, gave me the task. So that's kind of weird to me, but who am I to complain? All right, so let's see here. Uh, yes, you approach the burial mound of Hurin of the Keys of Gondor. It is heaped with the notched weapons of his fallen enemies. Let us desecrate the site. You tear down the monument with your own hands, and defile the very stones with curses, fell chants, and unspeakable acts. Your followers fall back in fear of the dead, but they seem to have renewed respect for your wickedness. Alright, oh, I actually thought that was going to take some time. I, I literally thought that was going to take some time, so I was bracing myself to potentially being attacked by Forlong the Fat, for example, because he's actually in there at the moment. And there's a Mordor prisoner train over there. I'm going to move into Gondor here just for a second because I'd like to kill the last remaining amount of units that I need. Let's actually take on this patrol here, shall we? Yes. And we can also help out a Mordor patrol in the meantime. So that is going to give us a couple more rank points 
Anyway, so that, that sounds pretty good to me. And uh, I think these guys, I, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Oh, wait. I just saw something. To Nazgul. It actually mentioned to Nazgul in the text log, and I completely missed what it was saying. I actually wonder whether two Nazgul are actually in the battle here, or whether they are just nearby to us. It's probably just that they're nearby or something like that. Oh well, never mind. I suppose I don't have to worry too much because we... Well, technically they're on our side, so I, I guess it's okay. I mean, I have no illusions about the fact that they would probably kill me in an instant if it, if it you know, benefited them in any way, so yes. Let's make sure that... Uh, let's make sure that we are actually a useful tool. Hmm, yes, exactly. Alright, well, I, I, literally, I'm just going to charge straight on in here. I mean, we outnumber them so heavily, it is not even funny. And uh, I'm going to just place our archers up here. Obviously, the archers are probably not the best idea. Ah, Nazgul sweep! Okay, so apparently there is a Nazgul on the battlefield. By the looks of things. I don't exactly know where. But uh, it seems like they are here somewhere. So that's kind of cool. I, I really don't know where it is, though. Is it really on foot? I don't think it would be on foot. Nazgul diving attack on Axe Master. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not an actual unit. Maybe it's literally a... Like a, a special... I, I don't really want to say artillery. But maybe it's just an emplacement of some kind, you know, just how the game works. Maybe it's not an actual unit and instead it's just an invisible force that sometimes comes down, does a little bit of damage, or a lot of damage in some cases, and then leaves again. That might be the case. Hmm. I think that might be the case anyway. I, I'm going to actually look at the recent messages and I'm actually going to see whether that's actually the case because I'm kind of interested to find out. Ah, and there it is, yes. Two Nazgul are circling in the sky above the battlefield. Right, okay, so yeah, they're not actual units or anything like that, which is absolutely fine with me. I think it would have been really cool to see them in the actual game, but I can understand that maybe it would be, you know, one of those things where they're just too powerful, perhaps, for regular units. So it would throw the balance of the mod completely off, which I completely understand. I don't I don't really mind anyway. I think it's kind of cool that they are circling above the battlefield, riding on their drakes or whatever it may be. And uh, I guess we're going to move back now and see where the, uh, the, the quest giver actually is. I don't exactly know where she went. Oh, this is... This is going to be bad, isn't it? All right, well, we're participating in a small quest here for the Morgul Chief, which, of course, is, well, it's a it's a quest to kill some troublesome goblins. And suffice it to say, these troublesome goblins are very, very easy. So we're going to be done with this very soon. And what are we going to get for the quest? We're going to get 20 rank points and 12 influence. That's actually pretty good. Uthak has advanced to level 3 as well. Very nice. Okay, so let's have a look. Ah, he wants me to escort another supply train to the Orc sentry camp. Personally, it's pretty easy rank points for me to do this. And the Orc sentry camp is so close that I really don't see a problem with it. So we're just going to... We're just going to take them over there and uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to now, now that we have like a whole bunch of influence points, hopefully we'll be able to go over to the faction leader, which I assume is the mouth of Sauron. It could be someone else, but I assume it is that. And uh, we'll hopefully be able to get some of those special items as well. Ah, uh, finally found her. Wow. Okay. So yeah, it was really just a case of going straight north and being like, yes, okay, I'm going to go back to where I first spotted her. Sounds like a good idea to me. Anyway, 108 rank points for that. We've been promoted to Accomplice of Mordor. Very nice. Another 56 influence as well. So we are doing very, very nicely right there. And uh, well, let's take, take a look and see if we can get any more tasks. By the way, this is something that I have heard about in the comments. And uh, we've heard that she's a great healer. Is this true? And can you help me? Yes, I am. And I can help you for a price. And I don't necessarily need that right now. But apparently what that can do is that can heal you up to full HP as far as I'm aware. So that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. If only I needed it right now. Although that would 
then infer that I'm not doing very well, considering I need healing. But anyway, uh, it doesn't seem like she has anything else for us. Nope, doesn't seem like she has anything else for us. So I guess I will be heading back to... Oh, wow. The Isengard is continuing to, to, to siege things. But we're going to go back to Moranon, and I'm actually just going to take a quick look at the map here. Seems like not much is happening... Rohan is still on the back foot, of course, but maybe they're starting to fight back a little bit. I, I mean, I really don't know, but... Hmm, what's going on over here? Oh, wow. Lord Bard himself was, was killed. That's kind of impressive. Bolzog. Bolzog has gained a level. That's fantastic. Yes, give me more of those medical skills. First aid, wound treatment. Oh, yeah. There we go. And, uh, of course, we have Uthak as well. Let's give him another point in strength. I'm just going to continue making him into some kind of warrior archetype. Of course, I'm going to be leveling up his agility as well. But for now, I think we're probably just going to concentrate on his strength. Just make him into as hard a hitter as possible. That's the thing that we're going to try and concentrate on for now. And I actually did level up as well, which is kind of amazing. I have no idea what to spec into. I really don't. Because I literally have 15 agility. Usually, if I'm going to play a character in any Warband mod, I'm not going to spec 15 agility this early on. Like, maybe when I'm like past level 30, I might go for 15 agility, maybe 18 agility eventually. But this early on, no way, because the 5 in riding was obviously required to be able to use that huge warg. But otherwise, I'm not entirely sure what I should go for now. I'm thinking, you know what? Let's go for let's go for 18 strength, and then I might think about taking intelligence to 12 and leveling up my trainer skill a little bit more. And speaking of trainer skill, I'm actually going to spec another point in that right now, and then hopefully it will get a little bit better as time goes on. Because, you know, we're, we're leveling up orcs right here. We're leveling up orcs, and we want to make sure that those orcs level up as quickly as possible. And if we are not able to get into a battle, or if they're just absolutely useless, which in general some of them actually do tend to be, then it is... You know, that's just how it is. Anyway, as the white right hand of the wizard, we are now allowed to command three scouts, two raiders, and a war party from Isengard to follow you. That's really awesome. I am rank six now, which is pretty good. I might be able to recruit something at rank six. Like, I might be able to... I, I don't think I'm able to get a war party, but I might be able to? Hmm. I don't think it's possible, but let's actually just take a look and see what else we can get here. All right, okay. So I can get an orc brew. I think I'm probably going to get that just because it will give me that little bit of extra athletics. What is a master's whip? No idea what that is. Maybe it's going to give me trainer skill, actually. Trainer skill might actually make sense. And a huge warg. That can also be rebought. I don't need one. I already have one. So, not necessary. But I'm very interested to see what the remaining items are going to be. And uh, for now, I think... Hmm, do I want to sell my prisoners? Do I want to buy some more soldiers? It might make sense for me to get a couple more soldiers. We could get some black Numenorians. That might actually make sense. But I think for the moment, I'm just going to go for some more Uruks here. And we might go for a couple of Orcs as well, just to improve our party size. That's basically the only thing I'm using Orcs for at the moment, with the exception of obviously improving our battle advantage and all that. So that's that's pretty good. 621 resource points, 920, that's a little bit better. Master's Whip, yes. Plus one to Trainer, and we also have the opportunity to now recruit Tribal Orcs. And we also have plus one to Rally in Battle, so that's actually a pretty cool thing. And the Orc Brew is obviously going to be expiring very soon. I actually don't have enough food, so I'm going to be slaughtering a whole bunch of... My prisoners very soon as well. Let's just sell a couple of these things. And there we go. All right. So that's that's pretty fantastic. All right. Well, I think with that, there is quite a bit to be done in the area. And uh, I think what I might try to do is I'm, I might try to go to the various areas where people have died. And we'll just see. I think these funeral pyres are actually for our own people. I think the burial mounds are for Gondor. So I might actually, yeah, I, I think that might be the case. So I think I might be going to the various burial mounds that we can see. I don't think there's that many, but 
We'll see if I can maybe find a couple more. Otherwise, I'm going to try and pick up as many tasks as I can get my hands on. As you can see, I've completely cleared my backlog. And then we'll see what we can do about that. I think this might actually be something that we might want to attack. And I think what I can do is I can try and get an Isengard war party and a couple of raider parties and come here. And we might have a good chance of being able to take it. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.